Hello Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your August 2020 love reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for um, subscribing. Uh, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe notification. It means a lot to the channel um, and it's free, okay? Okay, so I have been missing in action. Um, I do have a broken wrist. Um, I was in a car accident. Yep. Let's just say none of us should uh, drink and drive. I was not the one drinking or drunk. All right. So since we got all of that out of the way, let's move forward. Um, Scorpio. So it looks like so it's, it's, a, it's a few different stories in this. Um, for my Scorpio woman, your, your person feels like uh, you need a rich husband and they need more money. They feel like sometimes your behavior is very manipulative. Uh, they can't read you. Uh, they may even view you as the ice queen. Maybe you've been through so much in your life where you're just callous, you're cold, you're rigid. Um, if you care to change, you might want to change that. Um, Or this person made you that way so it, it could very well be you know explainable and understood but do you want to continue being that way that's the question for you to answer um, you feel like this person is going to get their karma uh, you may have even said that to a particular person like you're gonna get you know, what goes around comes around, or remember karma. Um, there also may be someone wanting to come back to you. Maybe someone you have a child or children with. Children is playing a factor in, in this dynamic here, one of the dynamics. Huh? The cards are asking you to always gracefully age. And that's just not on the outside, but on the inside too. Are you maturing with time? Are you letting life happen to you? Are you learning from life? Are you going to continue to be the ice queen? Uh, getting your way by manipulative behavior. Um, not being open. Not being... Uh, loving at times okay um, it says basically sometimes this card says grow up grow up um, some of you could be changing your mind about something you did or you said okay and um, that's good that's good some of you sober um, you either had to go to institution or there's a question of your sobriety because of the parental care aspect of things okay so I may be questioning your sobriety because of the children okay so um yeah okay so that that's an aspect there I know that's not love but it just came up um for my, my Scorpio males you may be a little older than the woman or man whatever your preference is um, that you are dating okay um, this person will help you grow spiritually you'll start looking at things from a different perspective because though she is a young female she's kind of very mature okay
your person may feel for my Scorpio man you might be the rich husband but then your person may be saying I need more money because you're trying maybe you're trying to control them by money you're trying to manipulate the situation by not you know by being tight pocket Scorpio how you feel towards your person is you're saying I don't have time maybe you work the work card did come up maybe you work a lot but you said you're saying to them I love you and you might even be apologizing for some behavior that um you know some bad behavior you're saying i'm so sorry i was an idiot you know um yeah this is more so for people in a relationship this part of the reading um it looks like some of you are dating someone, okay? Uh, she, she and she might be, or he might be the ice queen or king. Um, they haven't fully let you in, okay? They may put their children first. They may have children or a child. They put their children first, so there's no time. You feel like they don't have time for you but you might even love them there might be some behavior where you're apologizing for if not outright and upfront in your actions you may be trying to apologize okay for those in a relationship there's gonna have to be some compromise compromise with time money energy all of that okay we have a no answer which we're going to clarify and we have a reconsider okay reconsider i don't know reconsider you're changing your mind so maybe you need to reconsider maybe a decision a changing mind a changing decision here reconsider that don't know what that's about we'll pull a card on that too In the near future, you or someone, a younger person, a younger charismatic, outgoing, well-dressed, well-groomed person will give you a message of maybe they want to be single or they want to end things or it's just, it will be more so a resolution, um, an, an amicable harmonious ending it, it just happens you know it's not um not tiresome it's almost like and this is my card of things already ending because sometimes we know that death can be slow so it's already in in that phase of dwindling out or dissipating ending dying so it might just come to completion you could be dealing with another fixed sign, Scorpio like yourself, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Let's clear, clarify. Okay, so what is this no answer for Scorpio? You may be feeling like someone is getting their karma. Someone's dealing with, there's a same sex couple here. But then there's also a woman in the mix and there's children. So someone may be bisexual. Um, okay. What's this no answer? No. No. Very good part. No ace of pentacles so that's very good i guess no no if you think something's ending or you can't go the distance with this person or it damn okay sorry guys um no foundational start eight of cups somebody is choosing to walk away okay 
Um, could be an Aquarius here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You may be telling someone though. No, you don't want to start a new. You, you want to walk away, or um, or they may be walking away. But the answer is no. They may be asking you to reconsider. Or you may be asking them to reconsider. The funny thing is, under the deck, we have romance. So, right now, it could be romantic. It could be, you know, dating and getting to know each other. But then it there's a message of it of just going no more. And it could be romance because between the two of you, you have, I am dating other people. So you may not be putting all your eggs in one basket here with this particular person, okay? Um, yeah. Uh, card fell on the floor. Someone may not be as forthcoming and upfront and forthright as you think they are. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be leaving the connection. And all of a sudden, you may see it that maybe the, the relationship is falling apart. And you may offer something small to this person, like a, an opportunity to reconsider, to make this work. I'm seeing Aquarius here too. Um, I'm, cause this, you really like this person. You're really attracted to them in almost every facet, but they are walking away from you. Um, something is not fulfilling to them. I don't know if it's, they've got an eight here. I don't know if it's the sex, if it's a lack of money or, or resources or something of that nature, it looks like they were already in a long-term affair or, or relationship, and it kind of brought you in on something that wasn't complete with another person. So, uh, someone could have left with the child. They just wanted peace and balance so they left you may be telling someone that you know you have to see things differently wait you may be saying wait because some, something's going to change see it differently you may be telling someone the truth or, or vice versa someone may be combating or combative with you because you may be questioning their sexuality or vice versa you they're questioning yours they're holding on to their answer though they, they're not giving a direct answer um someone wants to balance things out and make it right with you scorpio they think of you dearly they think of they daydream of you they may even dream of you. They're thinking about, what can I do to bring Scorpio back to me? They may start with a small gesture because they know if they go big, you might be get a little scared of that, you know, or shy away from it. They're holding back their emotions for you. But you are their wish fulfillment here, Scorpio. Either you, Scorpio, or someone around you wants to offer long-term stability, but they're taking a long time, okay? Uh, they look at this as destiny. You guys met, for, you know, a, a destined reason. They may say something to you or um, not say something to you, but actually speak their mind, their emotions, their heart to you. They've been carrying this for a while. Either you, Scorpio, are doing this or someone's doing this in regards to you. You may tell a person that, hey, you're everything I've ever wished for. 
you know, or vice versa, they're saying this to you. But this person is, they are cold. And not cold in terms of they won't, um, they'll be mean to you, but they, there's just, there's not a reciprocation of um, emotion here. They may be, this person may have someone else offering stability to them. There's a party here <laughs> in which they may have to end things and, and, and trying to weigh up who do they end things with? Who will I have the most successful connection with is, is what a particular person is asking. Scorpio, either you, someone is obsessed with you or vice versa. You're obsessed with someone becoming a, a, a wife. You think about this person constantly. Because this person shows very little emotion, but they don't have all of the sweet nothings to say to you, it causes a bit of anxiety. You don't know where you stand with this person. You don't know if you're doing right or if you're doing wrong with them. You just don't know. But you continue to work on yourself or work in your business. Confidence is high. Confidence is high with you. At times, and we're human beings, it, it just fluctuates, especially when you are not exactly depending, but when you are looking for a particular answer from the person you love or you like and you don't get it or you get nothing, then that's when the confidence meter kind of goes down a little bit. But it looks like you are able to lift yourself back up, Scorpio. Um, so you question, shall I go in a new direction? Because I'm not getting a lot. I'm not getting anything from this particular person that I like that I have my eye on. Could I be their husband? Do they want to be my wife?